Crayola, the world's favorite crayon company, produces 3 billion crayons each year, which is more than 10 million crayons per day. Crayola is one of the largest crayon manufacturers in the world. These crayons are manufactured in a gigantic facility in eastern Pennsylvania. But how are Vax crayons made in this world's largest factory? The famous wax crayons were first introduced in 1903, invented in America when a non-toxic version was created from the basic wax that was already used for marking boxes and barrels. Since then, over 200 billion crayons have been produced. At that time, there were only eight colors. Now, there are over 120 colors. Crayons need to be durable and not brittle, but soft enough for vibrant colors. That's why they are made with a special material called paraffin. Paraffin, the main ingredient in crayon manufacturing, is a solid white wax derived from crude oil. It is sturdy, does not dissolve in water, and most importantly, is non-toxic. It is economical and easy to melt. It also has what is called good release, meaning it leaves enough wax on the paper. Inside the heart of the Crayola factory, where creativity meets precision, the magic of colors that inspires generations is born. The factory produces around 13 million crayons per day. To achieve this, a significant amount of paraffin is needed, which is transported in trains. A single train carries 68 tons of solid paraffin at room temperature. In order for it to be poured, it must be melted and steam pipes are the solution to this. The paraffin is heated in large industrial boilers until it melts and becomes a liquid. The temperature and heating time are precisely controlled to ensure the safety and quality of the process. Once melted, the paraffin flows into enormous storage towers, each containing 50,000 litres. There are eight of these giant wax storage towers in the Crayola factory. This amount is enough to produce 13 million crayons. All ingredients must be stored and handled following strict safety and hygiene protocols. This includes proper storage of paraffin to prevent fires and cautious handling of pigments to avoid inhalation of fine particles. Before use, the ingredients must be accurately measured and weighed according to Crayola's formulas. The paraffin is transferred to mixing boilers, where it is combined with clay to give the final crayons additional strength. A secret powder is added to strengthen the crayon and act as a filler, increasing the number of crayons the wax will produce. Various synthetic chemicals are also added, one of which prevents the wax from sticking to the mold, and a fatty acid called stearic acid improves detachment. Next, powdered pigment is added to the mix, which is a combination of natural and artificial compounds. The pigments are powder substances used to give color to the crayons. Crayola offers a wide range of colors, so there must be a variety of pigments available. To ensure even distribution in the paraffin, the temperature is raised to 77 degrees Celsius. The mixture undergoes constant stirring, usually in specially designed tanks, to efficiently mix the ingredients. The viscosity of the mixture is monitored and controlled during stirring. Viscosity control is essential to ensure that the mixture is easy to pour into the molds later in the process. After the paraffin has melted and mixed with the pigments in step one, a homogeneous mixture is obtained. This liquid mixture is the basis of wax crayons. The factory can produce 127 different colors. The temperature of the mixture is also carefully controlled. If it cools too quickly, the paraffin will harden, so the temperature is adjusted to keep the mixture in a liquid state until it is poured into the molds. Now, the mixture is poured into a device called a rotary machine which contains a steel mold with 110 crayon-shaped cavities. The amount of mixture is carefully controlled to avoid spills. After pouring the mixture into the molds, gentle taps may be applied to eliminate air bubbles trapped in the mixture and ensure that the wax fills all corners and details of the mold evenly. The molds are then wrapped in cold water, solidifying the wax in 60 seconds. As the molds continue along the circuit, a blade scrapes off the excess wax. One rotary machine molds over 2,700 crayons per cycle, with several machines operating simultaneously. This factory produces 30,000 crayons every hour. The filled molds move through a cooling tunnel where they are allowed to cool and harden. 
Once the crayons are fully cooled and hardened, the molds are removed. This operation is done carefully to avoid damaging or deforming the crayons during extraction. A robotic arm ejects the crayons, grabs them and deposits them into a hopper for labeling. After extraction, a visual inspection is conducted to identify any visual defects in the crayons. Crayons that do not meet quality standards are separated for further correction or disposal. The crayons are sorted by color and grouped into batches. This sorting process is essential to ensure that the crayons are packed correctly according to their color, allowing consumers to select the colors they want. A conveyor carries them to the labeling machine. One by one, they fall into the slots of a rotating drum. Before starting the labeling process, labels with the Crayola logo and crayon information, such as the color name or number, must be prepared. The labels are usually self-adhesive. The Crayola Crayon Factory uses automatic labeling machines to apply labels to the crayons efficiently and precisely. The previously inspected and prepared crayons are fed into the labeling machine. These crayons have already been sorted by color and are ready to receive their labels. The labeling machine automatically applies labels to each crayon. The label is usually placed on the outside of the crayon, displaying the color name, the Crayola logo, and any other relevant information. This machine labels 8,500 crayons per hour. As the crayons go through the labeling process, visual quality controls can be carried out to ensure that the labels are applied correctly and that there are no alignment or adhesion issues. The crayons exit the labeling machine and fall into a box. They are ready to be grouped into sets, depending on the product specifications. The packaging line is fully automated. The factory programs the machine to collect a certain number of crayons based on the type of package in production. Their best-selling products are 16 and 24 crayon packs. The packaging machine is designed to handle the crayons gently. However, occasionally a crayon may break or a label may come off. When this happens, a sensor automatically stops the machine and a light indicates the issue. The obstruction is cleared and production resumes. Once the crayon line and the box line meet, a push device slides each set of crayons into a box. An integrated scale weighs each box. If it is below the weight, the machine automatically removes it from the conveyor belt. Then, the missing crayon is manually added to ensure a complete set of colors. Once the crayons are inside the packages, the boxes are transferred to a rotating table where they are picked up and placed in larger boxes by factory workers. Before the crayons leave the factory, they undergo a thorough final quality inspection. This involves checking each batch of crayons and packages to ensure they meet Crayola's quality standards. Once the final quality control is successfully completed and it is verified that the crayons meet all quality standards, their distribution and shipment to stores and distributors are approved. If you want to know how LEGO toys are made, watch the video on your screen and please like the video if you enjoyed it and share it with someone who might be interested. Also, subscribe to this channel by activating the notifications to continue learning. Thanks for watching.